What's up? We got this RGB 20S from Pow Kitty. And uh, at the moment, when you power it up, it just says low voltage. Tons of games. The system boots up and everything. But every time you click on a game, it just kicks you right back out into the menu. And I think this is pretty common. So we're going to go through and see if we can't figure out what's wrong with it. Okay. So we have our system turned on here. Let me find something so I can show you what my problem is. Go to Nintendo 64. You know, we'll probably have problems with this. And let's see. Oh, if it digs too far. Uh, let's just go cruising. Let's try to just pick anything from some world. And this is what happens. A whole lot of nothing. <laughs> And that's pretty much for every game, every system, Ninja Turtles. This one will probably work. Volume right now. <laughs> I figured. Get some volume. This is usually about all I get. So what we're going to do. Let me turn this down again. What we're going to do is. So you have two slots here. We have. TFT2 game that tells you right there. That's where all our games are going to be. And TF1 OS. This is the one that's causing us a problem. So we're going to take this guy out of here. Same thing that everybody tells you. And I always tell you to use a name brand card. And uh, for these little OS cards, 16 gigabit, gigabytes fine. Make sure you use a quality card. And stick it over the computer. So this is the github page the home of the home page of the arc os we want to scroll down here to the bottom to the download links there and i am trying to fix the rgb 20s and you can see here this one says will not work for the 20s what we need is this one up here, the 351MP. And the only link that works is this mega link. Go ahead and download that mega link. And then when you get done with that, I'm pulling up Raspberry Pi Imager right quick. Is it an easy way to format in FAT32? Storage and it is gotta be that. It should be way more than oh it is 16. Never mind. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Yeah, that's fine. Eraser up. That's what I was getting confused about. I thought it was a bigger drive than 16 gig for some reason. It's just that little card. Okay, it'll probably tell you that there's a problem. Continue. It says we can pull it out. We'll just pull it out and put it right back in. And I still, I think, want to use the Win32 disk imager. Be able to find this a little bit easier right there on the external this. Oh, I need to sure we are going to write top. Ah. We can just say F now. Much better. This will probably take a few minutes. Not a long time, but I think it's only a few gig. We'll be right back. Okay, our write was successful. So we can eject the card. 
and put it into our game and see if we can play the actual game ROMs on there. Let's give it a check. All right, let's see. Moment of truth. Well, it looks neater. Do -do -do -do. Background music. Still says Arc OS 2.0. Oh no, it's bricked. <laughs> Looks like it's rebooting. No, not a boot loop. I probably need to give it a few minutes to boot up anyway. And let me check the readme file and see if I'm missing anything. Looks like it's getting a little farther this time. This is the, you know, the uh, operating system SD card, so it doesn't have a whole lot of games. I'm going to options, click on the first one, advanced, and then hit up to go all the way down to the bottom, switch to SD2 for ROMs, click yes, setting up swap file, I don't think this takes very long. Maybe it does. Alright. Good deal. Alright, here we go. So, 2200 arcade games. Let's go straight to the hard crap. And can we play some Nintendo 64 yet? What do we want to play? Goldeneye? We know GoldenEye is not going to work, but it is the bar. Hey, we got a picture at least. Yeah, that's pretty smooth. Right. I hear a little bit of uh, <laughs> dying, or dying sound anyway. Uh, hopefully, uh, it's a little bit better now. Hopefully we can screw with the uh, emulators and stuff and get it to play. This part seems pretty promising. Let's shoot somebody before we really can tell. Oh, it sounds bad. Oh, I can't even see it. There it comes. Maybe if we just pause it and let it buffer for a little while. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to, oh yeah, we got some sticks. Oh no, how do I shoot? Karate chop him. I don't know how to shoot. Help me shoot. Wouldn't it be A or B? B puts your gun away. We'll have to fix. But it does kind of play. I mean, who needs like sound? Man, it's gonna be hard to <laughs> reacquaint myself with these controls. 
Okay, there's up and down. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting smoked. It's good enough where I can play it and have fun and reminisce. Pretty easy for it. Okay, PlayStation, PlayStation Portable. Those are going to be probably our top tier. Grand Theft Auto, I see stories, right? I have plenty more ROMs I can load on here to test. If it plays these, I think this, this thing was only like 40 bucks. I've had it for a while now. I'm sure this will play fine too. I keep having this problem where there's no... There we go. It's like it's paused or something and I have to hit one of the shoulder buttons. Uh-oh. I hope that's not copyrighted music. You can hear it. In, it's skipping a little bit. A lot of this stuff, you know, you, any of you guys that tinker with this stuff, you know, you can get in here and screw with the frame rates and and at least make it playable. But I think that uh, that's going to be a winner on that one. I couldn't play anything on it uh, an hour ago, so we're going to call that one a win. That site that I was showing you, and the link will be in the description, where we got the uh, OS for this, the same place that you're going to get the... Uh, OS for the RG35XX, the Plus, and the H. Um, so if you have any problems with those systems, uh oh, what happened? Um, you're you're going to download the new files, the firmware updates. Oh, that's what happened on, on a sidewalk or something. Uh oh. It's lagging a little bit. <laughs> anyway, let's get out of this. I'm going to play something I can actually play. But that worked. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and feel free to let them rip. I'll answer anything I can. I can. And uh, next we will also have the. I don't have it handy. The RG35XX. No, no. It's 353V. Um, same kind of problem as I had with this. Uh, the original Ambernick system or, or whatever OS system that they were using isn't firing up for it, but the um, Android side is okay on it. But I don't have any way of playing the games on the Android side. So uh, we'll get that one going in the next video, and I guess we'll uh, figure out how to add and uh, remove games to this next too. Stick around.